hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video i'm going to teach you how to auto trace the image inserted in solidworks so as you can see i have a trace one formula formula one car here so how to do that i will tell you step by step so let's make first a part then you can sketch over here to insert the image you must have your sketch sketching on okay and then you have to go to the tools and sketch tools and go to the sketch picture now you have to select the picture let's say i'm uh, selecting this uh, formula one which is prop proper black and there are some gradients over here it will be good if you have a picture in one color only like uh, this avoid this kind of gradient because it will be really hard to trace right so in this uh, sketch you can just uh, resize your image if you want these are the dimension and these are the degrees you can rotate your picture like that okay and you can uh, enable scaling tool so if you want to change your scale like uh, if you want to change the ratio then you can just click uh, untick this and you can do by yourself right there are some transparency options are there where you can uh, just full image and go to the transparency level right just like that okay now coming to the auto tracing the outer edges of the formula one car how to do that so for that you have to tick the auto trace option on if you tick then and only you you are unable to do the auto tracing of the image right so you have to tick this on and yeah we are ready and double click on it now this option will be there right the arrow next and you have to select there are many different types of uh, selection tools personally i prefer the uh, select color by pin dropping so pin drop i will do on uh, this color okay and begin the trace as you click begin the trace it will trace your image like that right but now you want accuracy so how to do that so in that uh, you can just uh, do do the preview setting you can see the preview of the uh, trace and now you have to control the parameters just like that image brightness if i do the brightness like that you can see the curve how how it is getting traced now also you can control it by contrast as well so it is not getting properly what you can do color, go to the color tolerance color tolerance is not affecting a lot but let's try with some uh, recognition tolerance and image brightness image brightness will affect a lot and this is how you can trace your uh, image the more accurate colors and edges will be there the easy easy way to uh, get the trace done right so this is how there are some gradients that's why it is uh, creating some errors but to avoid that make sure your part is uh, full in one color right so if you do apply it will create a trace like that and you can just uh, use it as a sketch purpose right so as you can see if i hide that if i hide the picture wait it will not so what what will i do i just uh, create the zero transparency and as you can see i have created my sketch now it is open from that side so what you can do you can just do joint and uh, at some point it is open that's why it is not closed okay so you have to find that and you can do extrude any command you can uh, do right any operation you can do on this sketch and you can use it as an extrude if it is a closed sketch okay for now this is how you can do the auto tracing of the image why i taught this in in middle of the surfacing because it will be very helpful uh, in the future to make uh, make the cars make the blueprints into the sketch right directly converted uh, converting to the uh, sketch so this is how it is gonna help you in the future that's why i took this topic uh, in the middle of the surfacing part right so yeah thank you for watching keep sharing keep learning